Alright guys, you know what it is, you know what the issue is again, so I'm just going to let you know right now. Okay, so I'm having an issue with my Discord again, so you know what that means, that means I'm going to come back and I'm going to help you out. Because you know, like I said before, I know I uploaded a video saying that that was going to be my last video, but a, a friend of mine reached out to me the other day, uh, actually it was last night, he reached out to me and told me, hey, you shouldn't do this just because there are some bumps in the road. You should be able to continue your passion even if there are bumps in the road. I can help you, and if you want help, all you gotta do is ask. So I asked him, and he gave me some simple pointers and tips that might be able to help me out. So I'm going to help you guys out today with a simple task like this. Of course, it's gonna be a little difficult for you guys to understand because of the way that I typed it out, because I understand the way that I type and write things, so... Let me go ahead and help you out, alright? So today, I'm going to show you how to fix your Discord loop updating thing once again. <laughs> because last time that totally helped me out. So, make sure you have no apps open except for me because I'm recording right now and I'm using OBS. So, make sure you have no apps open, no YouTube, nothing. Just completely shut everything off. Open up your task manager and I don't know if you guys have a program. Just control shift escape which will completely bring up everything. You can go ahead and click on, instead of fewer details, you just have more open details. Scroll down to whatever Discord is normally down here to background processes. Just completely exit out of all Discord. Once you're done, you need to go down to here, locate your Windows tab, type percent local app data percent, and click enter. Once that happens, you're going to scroll down to Discord, which is a little bit down. You are going to look at the update file. You're going to click on it and rename it to update underscore one. And completely click off of it. Now you can do that and follow every other, no offense, every other, you know, viewer catching person. You know, or you can do it the way that is smarter than anyone else and completely do it the way that I did last time, which will also help you out. Let me show you how that happens. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the app. You are going to completely, don't touch it. You're going to go straight to Windows. You're going to go, you're going to type in uninstall and you're going to go to settings and click uninstall program. First thing you're going to do is since Discord isn't working at all, you are going to completely uninstall it. Okay. But you're going to completely uninstall it. And since it's already been uninstalled, I have to reinstall it. Which means, since my Discord no longer works, I have to physically go back to a tab that I have it in, which is Discord Setup. And completely re-download it, because I have the program downloaded on my computer. You're going to completely re-download it. If that doesn't work, I'll just show you how to download it, and I'll put the link down in the description. Boom! Discord is now installing and doing probably the loophole fix again. If not, then I probably just fixed it myself. But if not, I'm still going to show you how to do it officially. Just remember, these steps will also be put in the description. I'll probably type them a little bit better. Basically, just don't have any apps open while you're doing this. Locate your Windows tab down at the bottom left. Type percent local app data percent. Enter. Scroll down until you hit the Discord folder. Either do one of two things. You can either update your folder. You can either update your update folder program to update underscore one. Or you can completely re-delete Discord. So, ah, bingo! There we go. And I have completely... Okay, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> hey! Uh, okay. I think it's doing the... Yeah, it's doing that loophole fix again. Okay. So, this is what I mean by the new loophole issue that's happening. Or maybe... Nope. Ready? Oh, okay. Alright, we're good. So, I fixed mine. So, that's good. Basically, all you need to do is just completely, like I just showed you, all you need to do is locate it. That's all you need to do, is locate it and completely 
delete it, and re-download it. Since I have a backup download folder, so I don't have to go back to the site, I'm going to still show you how to re-download it from the site. So what you're going to want to do is close out all of these tabs, which I don't need them. I'm going to open up my Opera browser because I don't use Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, or Mozilla Firefox. The reason why is because if you didn't know, Mozilla Firefox, uh, Microsoft Edge, or Internet Explorer, and Google Chrome all sell user data. Opera doesn't do that. It actually has a built-in, actually, hold on. It has a built-in ad protection. Um, it has a built-in ad protector. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Discord. And I'm going to click on the link. I'm going to click on the download. I'm not going to do it because I've already downloaded it. Click on that download button. And once you're done, follow the steps that it tells you. I'm actually going to go ahead and copy. Actually, no, I kind of need to click on the download link. There we go. I need to copy this of course so i can take it back but that's what you want to do as soon as you're done with that completely download it and put it in a safe place as you can see for my uh stake i could just type in discord and it's already right there the program is there but it's inside a separate folder it's not in my main hard drive it's in a separate hard drive that's specifically meant for backups if i have an issue with this again but like i said before that's between steps five but with step with step five, you are there are two steps within step five. You can either update your update folder program to update underscore one, or you can completely re-delete Discord and re-download it again. That is one of the reasons that how you can do that. N number six, you can update your program so it never loops again. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to do the same thing again. I'm going to go to local app data underscore or not underscore uh, percent. I'm going to scroll down to Discord again. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to officially make it where it never does that again. I'm going to type in update, underscore one. Boom. So it never has a loophole crash again. That's overthinking the batteries from what I I'm doing it. And I've done this. I actually, I'm showing it right now because this is firsthand that I'm doing it. And obviously it's working considering I'm not even having any issues and it's not crashing and shutting down again. That's all you need to do, and you are perfectly fine. That's literally all you need to do. I'm going to post that link right there. I'm going to copy all of this because hopefully if you guys follow along, I'll type it a little bit better whenever I have it on and upload it. But hopefully this guy, this loophole Discord fix YouTube video will actually help you guys out. Just remember, I'm going to start trying again. I'm going to uh, bring myself back up. I'm going to give the motivation to get back what I want to be doing, what my true passion is. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start uploading more videos on how to help you guys and fix this out on a daily. That's who I'm going to be. And if I want to upload videos, hell, that's who I'm going to be. So I'm going to help you guys out as much as I can. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm also going to, I just downloaded a new editor. I don't know if you can see it right down here. I just downloaded a new editing software that a friend of mine, the guy who got in touch with me told me that i shouldn't stop uploading videos just because i can't you know i don't have editing software he gave me this site to download this so i can start putting in my intros and outros and links and whatnot and attach to the video and start editing and putting in like um little words at the bottom you know captions and whatnot and uh subtitles i'll start doing that too little pop things here and there and i'll start doing that so you guys can uh, enjoy the videos a lot more so i hope you guys really enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one goodbye tell me pretty lies look me in the face tell me that you love me even if it's fake